there is a better life through sin there is better life through the Calvary but there is the best life through serving there is a difference between believing in God and serving God to believe in God you just come to the cross but to serve God you have to come to the Pentecost you have to come to the place where you see 12 springs not just one little spring but 12 springs and 70 palm trees God wants to bring us to a place where we camp not just in the place where we have just enough but in a place of abundance where we can be a blessing to our generation blessing to those in need we're not just you finally make it to the home group you're like man such a great accomplishment of my spiritual life I finally made it to the home group that is a great place that is a better life but the best life is when you have your own home group now maybe in your wildest dreams you're looking at me today and you're saying there is no way under this green earth I can have home groups there is a way you will help other people today maybe your biggest miracle is to get a job because nobody's hiring you may be under underqualified and honestly God will give you that blessing but you know when you get that job the job of your dreams did you know that God can take you to a place where you don't just have job but you provide jobs for others think about that you're like not me first be free in your mind God is able the boss that you are serving for did you know that one day he was in the same place looking for a job and God delivered him from his head in his mind first and then God gave him ideas and now he gives jobs to others God wants to take you from a better place from a better place to the best place where you can be a blessing to others today maybe you are 16 year old you just got your license and you're praying and wishing that your grandma your mom and all the relatives will pitch in and buy you that one beaten up car that you always dreamed of having that is awesome but I want you to increase your dream already that one day you're gonna give vehicles away today maybe you're in a place you're 21 years old and it is your fantasy to get married that's what you think about that's what you pray about it maybe every person that you see you're like is this the one is this not, not the one that is your dream that is an awesome dream and God is gonna give you your most awesome person you're gonna have a beautiful person that you're gonna be married to you're gonna have a person that you're gonna love and they're gonna love you they're gonna trust you God is gonna bless you with that but the, honestly the best life is not just getting married it's when you sit in front of two people who are about to get divorced you counsel them you pray for them they get married their life changes their finances change their future change that is the best life that's how God wants us to live amen God will give you ideas God will give you wisdom but I want you to dream of a best life not just better life uh, there was a guy in Kenya who um, working at the oil company and he wanted to build an orphanage for children so he gave God a promise that God if you help me with finances I will build an orphanage and um, he wasn't getting any promotions so he noticed in his oil company that there was a pipe that was running there and the pipe had a crack and it leaked oil he came to his main supervisor and said we have to shut down the factory because pipe is leaking oil and we have to fix it the, the supervisor said well if we shut down the factory it's going to take us weeks or maybe a month to fix this crack and then we're going to lose billions of dollars we cannot afford to shut down the factory he said is it okay if I put a bucket under that crack the supervisor says knock yourself out go do it so he went he put the bucket under that crack and in that year he made a hundred fifty thousand dollars out of that gas out of that out of that um, out of that oil and in this way he went first of all paid off his debts right away his life improved and then he built an orphanage for children and then now he's looking for other cracks <laughs> in other pipes probably but God wants to bless you God wants to prosper you God is for you he's not against you you may say that's too good to be true it would be if the man who said that wouldn't pay with his life for it Jesus says I came to give you life the word life in John chapter 10 verse 10 means Zoe it's actually where my mom's name is Zoya I met a young lady last Sunday whose name is Zoe word Zoe means the very life of God 
what Jesus is saying I didn't come to give you life because I had 20 of them in heaven I chose just many many money I just chose this one I give you no he says the very life I have I gave therefore I am so bold about receiving that life he already gave it he already died why live with something lesser than Jesus Christ gave? Satan lies to us and he says Jesus came to steal, kill and destroy. I came to give life. The devil is a liar. He gives nothing, only takes. Satan is a thief. He makes our life bitter. Christ wants to make your life sweet in your finances, in your relationship and then he wants to take you to the place of 12 springs. 70 palms where you become a blessing to others where you begin to sponsor others where you begin to lift others where you begin to heal other people's lives where you begin to deliver other people through the power of the holy spirit 